Okay YouTube, how are we? It's BrokeBoy2000 here with another video on the channel. Today we'll be not only making our Serie vote, which vote Quadrado please, he's much more fun even though Pedro hasn't had a single special card all year. Well, we're going to be looking at icon swaps in the middle of August. Now, I have a bit of contention with this. And I know people will fight me and they'll say, Oh, but, but they have to do icon swaps this way. They can't make icon swaps one thing. They have to make it over the course of what, or more than one season. I don't think anyone's going to be playing this game in 41 days. That is just my serious contention, is that by the time icon swaps ends, it is not going to be very fun. So we'll start, obviously, with the three easy ones. Do these if you really want fodder. 83, 84, 81. 81 maybe not so much. Then we've got Kaka Moments, who if you're desperate, desperate, and you need something, then guess, go ahead and do him. I mean, he's there. 97 pace, 90 shooting, 95 dribbling, 76 physical, and 88 stam is what it is. Then we get to 5, which is the 92 Icon Moments player pick. I would stay away from this. Probably stay away from this too, because it's the middle of August, and this card is not that good. <laughs> They're just trying to say that we gave you Sabio, when in fact you gave us the base. Then we've got this one, which is a pack, which is very good, but also very bad potential. This one could be good. But there are still some shit 93 rated and 94 rated, Van Basten in particular. There's Maradona Prime, which is eh, could be good. Then there's Pele, for some reason, who is only the 95. Then there's this. I don't know whether you should do this. This, I would highly consider doing if you would like a risk. You have to wait until at least the end of the month to get him, which will be alright. And then we've got a 94 Prime on there. Don't do this one. Prime all moments. Because there's still the potential to get that. And then obviously these four I would highly consider doing. Maldini maybe I will do myself. Because I do love a centre-back and Maldini is the best centre-back alive. That isn't Sergio Ramos or Alfa Varane or Eddie Militao and he would just make squad building for me so much easier, especially considering I have Spinazzola in my team, he give a strong link. Then we have the King, Zinedine Zidane. I mean, this is just a really good card, isn't it? You can play him just about anywhere. You can play him just about anywhere. How is his heading accuracy only 95? Haha, <laughs> got him! That's a jerk and a half. But... Yeah, if you are, because I believe, I don't know how many tokens there are, I'm guessing there will be only 18 tokens. Okay, so we'll go and look at what they are, we'll come back to this in a second. But yeah, if you are enjoying the content on the channel, like, subscribe, and come and see us over on Twitch. Come and see us over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash brokeboy2000. We do lots of different stuff in the lead up to FIFA 22, there will be more announced soon in terms of content. But, let's go look at icon swaps, can we? Uh, where are they? Ah, oh, here we go, icon swaps. So, for some reason they're in milestones. So we have foot draft days, we're not worrying about. Silvers, okay. UCL, okay. Eredivisie, okay. Gil Azuri, okay. Weekend League, fuck's sake. Rivals, fuck's sake. So, you will have to play some Rivals and some Weekend League, it does kind of suck, because it's August and people don't want to play these game modes anymore! Just give us 20! Give us more than normal, and then we've got Premier League, which will be easy, CDR, Bundesliga, which will be quite easy to do for the three tokens, and then you've got how many? One, two, three, four, five, yeah, so nine. So there's gonna be 18 tokens. We'll go back and look at the combinations you can have in a second, but obviously, please don't just pick the highest one or the lowest one. Pick one that you actually feel will be useful. So for example, you can go the 94 attacker or mid pack, 
and you can go for um, the 94 Primal Moments pick, which will be sick. Or you can go for the 95 Icon Moments pack, and you can still get all the fodder packs, because that's only up to 6, and we'll have 18 tokens, which will be good fun. Obviously, you can get Kaka that I definitely would not recommend getting Kaka unless you are desperate for a Prime Icon Moments. <laughs> If you are desperate, just save up some tokens and probably get Yusebiu. Because, well, he's probably better than Kakar, let's be honest. But yeah, give yourself a bit of fun. It is the middle of July. I will probably take... I don't know. I will probably take this combo, the fodder packs. and But I'll save the fodder packs for next week when they put Path to Glories and hopefully Summer Stars in. I might rip the 81, just for a bit of fodder, but, yeah, it'll be good fun. We'll be doing a lot of icon swaps on stream, like I say, if you want to pull through, pull through. Or, I might hold and get Maldini, who actually knows at this point. But it's a long debate to have, and how tall is Maldini again? Maldini is 6 foot 1 medium high. Good. So, yeah, this has been a bit of a deep dive into icon swaps. I don't particularly think it's very good in terms of why are we grinding in August? EA? <laughs> like, no disrespect, I like the idea that they bought out icon swaps and it's probably the last one and it's just a bit of a send-off, but seriously. Icon swaps in August, why on earth are we having to grind for 41 days for the potential Adelevyashin? Because I'll, I'll be back in a second and I'll show you the potential in some of the packs. Okay chat, so as you can see, chat, I just said chat in the YouTube video, we've got Pele 4.48, I mean 4.88 mil. We've got Manadonna who is only 1.84 but he's still very good despite what the price says. Then we've got R9 who is 11 million coins. If you see Brazil Striker, you've hit big. If you see French Cam, you've probably hit big too. Zidane is only 2.9, but he's still pretty sick. Pushcast is only 785k, but still a dub. Cruyff is a dub. If you pack a Russian flag, you are just going to rip your hair out. You're just going to rip your hair out, and you're not going to be happy with yourself. That, you can also get Ronaldinho, Mal- actually, you can't get Maldini. You can get- actually, you can get Maldini, can you? I think you can. You can get Maldini, or you can get Garincha, which will be good fun. You can't get best, you can't get Yusebiu. Let me just quickly go back to Icon Swap so I can look at the tokens again, so I can look at the packs again, so I can show you all what the potential is to get. So, 94 Attacker or Mid, you can obviously get the ones we've mentioned, then you can get Garinch, then you can get Best, Eusebio, Baggio, which is eh. We get to the bad ones, you see Italian, you're a bit in the mud. You can get Rude, Hullet, Mateus, then you can get Van Basten, bit of an L. Hernandez, bit of an L. Cantona is a dub. I play with him. He's a dub, but he's not very expensive. Same with Henri. And then we are out of that. Then you've got the 93 moments attacker. So you've got all your standard ones we've just mentioned. Then you add in the likes of Stoichkov and Figo and Bergkamp. So 93 probably steer clear because there's not many good past 93 but 94 prime or moments is definitely steer clear the 95 is what you're looking for the 95 is definitely what you're looking for yeah so if you if you were to pick i would go the 95 attacker which i will probably i will go the 95 moments which i will probably do after i do the fodder packs and then I would go for, you know, I would just go out and get myself this pack, which is there for 41 days, so you've got time to grind, and if you do enjoy waiting, which I know some people do, some people don't, but some people do, yeah, if you enjoy the wait, if you enjoy the suspense, it's good fun. Or, you can go and get, I mean, can you? You can't really go and get the attacker or mid pack, which sucks. The highest you can get is Maradona day one. I would not be going for that one though. 
But, yeah. Thank you for tuning into the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll be back with an, a stream maybe tonight or tomorrow, depending on when you see this. Or maybe it'll be today if I put it up on Wednesday. But, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Follow all the socials. Hit the like button. I'll be back with a stream sometime soon.